Hi, the questions are coming. We have launched this new project LDS, which actually stands for three letters standing for long term support. Not latest, I used to say that, but it's an LDS is um, officially long term support. Now, the problem is, and I have, I concur with some people already online, that the LDS kernel sometimes does provide less service. I have a MacBook Pro a laptop here that works just fine with the Linux kernel, always has. But when you install the Linux LTS kernel, then suddenly it says your wireless is not working. So things can, can not work, functionalities can uh, drop. So here is the video where you say, look, I have an, doesn't matter which one, I have an LTS version installed. I'm going to get rid of this kernel, which is not the latest. Well, there you go again. It's not the, 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 the LTS support, but a normal kernel. And that's uh, 5.2 point something, right? These days, we're July 2019. And as of such, the ISO of July 2019 has been built with a Linux kernel already as a fallback. We might do it differently in the future. So mind you, check this out first. So you start by typing Linux, and then you see that the Linux kernel is actually installed. 5.15 then, of course, because it's a straight installation from the ISO. So there's no update done yet. And the Linux LTS is installed and is used. You see the number 4.19. And that's basically what it says here, 4.19. So here's the video, how to get rid of the LTS kernel. And if you remove the LTS kernel, then the Linux kernel is the only one present and he'll kick in. Okay, so we go to Tunar, Control H, that's the hidden folder. If you forgot the keyboard shortcut, it's here, Control H, show hidden files, because this is of course very um, well important that you know that there are lots of things in hidden in here that actually are governing your system. And we have created our own bin folder for some fun stuff. You can run these guys and you'll see fun stuff in the terminal. But it's also very interesting to, for instance, stay rolling from one month to another small things change it change some fixes are in there and you just run a script and everything is fine you can just stay rolling and it means you don't do a clean install but the one we're looking for is in the bin in the main there is something about kernels delete the lts kernel and if you don't have an lts kernel install an lts kernel so this thing has been there like for four years i think already but we made the LTS project because you were unable to actually get here. You were unable to get in a graphical environment and say, let's install the LTS kernel. So that's why it's now on the ISO straight away when you boot up. So deleting, you know what we need to do, delete. So you say delete LTS kernel. And that's it. Press enter to continue type in the password, this is going to be uninstalled. It's going to check if the headers are there. If the headers are there, they're gone as well, because, well, both of them are uh, linked together, let's say. And if that's done, well, now reboot, he says. So what do you do? Sudo reboot. I am in a virtual box, which means he wants to boot up from the ISO again. So I'm booting up from the hard disk and it already shows the word Linux. Otherwise it would show the word Linux LTS. So that's it. We are done. Control T and we have now version 5.1.15, which is of course not the last one. We could do all the updates and PKSYUA, but you can also just quickly show you that you can also install Linux just like that. 
this is the Linux kernel and that's the only one I want to update and all the rest stays well not updated and you see the reference today is um, 5.2.1 and that's the one and the only one I'm installing so I'm getting a newer kernel in which normally should give you better functionality faster or well 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 maybe not faster <laughs> it all depends what these uh, arch linux uh, developers are creating as kernel but more functionality yes and generally speaking that should be the case one last time just to show you the new fetch this can happen the stop job was probably too fast in the case of a virtual box you can do something uh, interesting just a control s uh, no control r and that's a reboot otherwise just let them count they'll be fine after a minute 30. that's of course something you get <laughs> if you just shut down the machine there are some orphans inoid thingies you'll fix it and this is just a virtual box anyway i'm gonna delete it later on just showing you guys here is the kernel 5.2.1 right so this is how you get rid of the linux lts kernel and then you're back on the linux kernel hope that improves things for you all right cheers